So on the 27th of June, Kenya played against Zambia, well rather they beat Zambia 2 0 My prediction was a draw or even Zambia nicking it, but what went down was actually pretty or pretty interesting. Actually, both goals were defensive errors, and so we'll talk about that and more. So yes, Kenya beat Zambia in the Kosofa Cup Group B opener and the game wasn't that late uh, but it was good to see, it was good to see first of all my player of or rather my man of the match was Amos Wanjala man the centre back had a solid game uh, then Austin Odiambo was also pretty good he scored the penalty that took us 1-0 but um, he was also pretty skillful man and he was really, he was really controlling the midfield man he played a really good simple game and uh, some skills here and there Yes, so the game was pretty chill. Actually, Zambia started off pretty well. Uh, we didn't have much of the ball. Zambia looked like they were going to dominate like everything. They were comfortable. Even the coach, the Kenyan coach actually said how they were really good with uh, the way they were passing the ball. And he even said how he's going to change tactics in the next game and uh, the formation and everything. Because Zambia, is yeah, Zambia were really good, man. Really, really good. Until about the sixth, seventh minute, um, long ball played up. Flick on and then yeah, just putting the defender under pressure and he had to pull <laughs> he had to pull the forward down. Well in my take, I thought that this was outside the box to be honest. I thought it should have been a free kick because the initial the initial contact was actually outside the box. He just ran into the box. Uh when he, he, he fell into the box. But yes, the uh, referee did hesitate, it was a penalty and a yellow card, and so Austin Odiambo, the man himself, taking it one way, keep on going the other man. It was lovely to see even the celebration. You know, with what has been happening with Austin Odiambo and Harambe Stars, it was good to see that he was called up for the other games, for the qualifiers, and he even played for the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. But that was a really good penalty, decisive. Uh, and yes, and then soon after, and yes, before we continue with the other goal, do make sure to subscribe to Kenya's biggest football channel. Good play actually, 18 minute, good play. Uh Austin Odamo again involved with Benson Omala. Yes. As I said, both goals. Uh, because the defender was sleeping, you know. There was a uh, you know, blind side. Player behind you, man. That was completely, completely, completely that, that that doesn't happen in top levels, man. You keep it simple, man. You either clear it, put it out for a corner, or hit it where it's come from. And so yes, that's why I'm saying both goals are defensive errors. And then after that, the game was pretty chill actually. Second half came and uh, yeah, we, we were, were still doing our thing. We're still doing our thing. Uh, yeah, there was a chance. Um, yeah, straight to the keeper though. Uh, the keeper also had a pretty decent game actually, to be honest. This was a really good chance. Oh my goodness. Austin Yodamu with the cross. There you go. Ah, I thought Benson Omana should have been more alive to that because he, had, he could have, you know, maybe tapped it in. But uh, yeah, that was it actually. Full time 2 0. Uh, yeah, they got the player sent off. Their captain was sent off. Second yellow card. But a full time 2 0. This was a good start to the Kosafa tournament, which is being held in South Africa. And our next game is Comoros on 30th June. And I think that one again, my prediction was that one will, will win. And Zimbabwe. But uh, I guess now with these teams, we never know. We never know. But that's been it for today's video, man. Just highlighting the two goals. I'm um, talking about it. It was really, we might take it was really good. It was really good to be honest. Um, it's a good way to start a tournament, you know, with three points, and uh, they currently sit top of Group B. So yes, we're looking forward to the next game, and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully share with you our predictions, our pre-match and also post-match analysis. And uh, yes, looking forward to more of these games. So yes, that's been it actually for today's video. Uh, as always, do check out our other social media platforms at LFB Love Football. Do like this video and remember to subscribe to Kenya's biggest football channel. And as always, as always, support Kenyan football. We out.